feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Devil in his hand. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21, Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide. That's right, you tell him, little buddy. You tell him, you listen to Late Night. Late Night with Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide, and the beautiful Kimmy Kim out of St. Louis. All right, everybody. Hope you guys had a great, great weekend. That's right, we got a... Uh, Father's Day coming up. We got Juneteenth coming up on Monday. That's right. Big pack, action pack weekend for those of uh, the guys who've been uh, being real fathers. That's right. No fake dads out there getting anything. That's right. But anyway, we hope you guys have a great week. And um, of course, you know, tune here every Monday and Thursday with Kimmy Kim and Kelly Holland. That's right. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday and Thursday. You can catch Kimmy on Monday and Kelly on Thursday. All right. So anyway, let's talk to Kimmy Kim and see what's going on in her world. What's up, Kimmy Kim? What's up? How you doing? Hi, Jerry. How are you? I am good. I am good. I'm, you good? I'm doing one day at a time. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we're we're in that same club now, so we have to we have to uh, stay in touch a little bit more than we than we than we normally do. Right. Yeah, this stuff it's hard, but yeah. Yeah, it is. You're it is. amazing. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's where we at right now and uh, we just got to stay close to God. Keep that good book open, keep our feet on the ground and just keep moving forward. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Yep. And, and and stay in contact with some of our elders, you know. That's the worst thing um you know, you uh, have a a relative you haven't spoke to in a long time, and the next thing you know, you know, we celebrating that their home going, you know. So we gotta yeah. we gotta make them calls, y'all, and then set up some lunch dates and some dinner and some gatherings. I mean, I think it's COVID is out there, but I don't think it's as bad. We can still, you know, be careful, but I think it's time to start getting together again. You know? I really believe that, you know. Sometimes we just wait for funerals and weddings. That's not the how we supposed to do it. You agree? Absolutely. All right. Well, we got a great guest tonight. We got Reverend Anthony Brewer. He's here to celebrate and share some of his music, his new music that's out there. We're going to uh, go on a little journey. Well, Kimmy's going to take him on a little journey so our, so our listeners can, can find out who he is so they can support him. Uh, he has, uh, he's been, he's been, he's been around for a little bit and I, I think, I'm not sure if this is his first project or what, but we'll find out during this interview and, uh, shout out to Paula, Paula G for setting all this up. That's my good friend, Paula G. We always, we talk pretty much, uh, on a regular, just keep each other grounded and shout out to WATC now point TV. You can catch Paula G every Thursday at 10, I think 11 o'clock. A.M. in the Cobb, the Cobb, and On Point TV. That's right, back to back time frames in Atlanta, and you can catch her in New York. So just a little shout out to Paula G. She out there doing her thing. She modeling and uh, doing voiceover work, and she has her own um, program. And um, who knows what else God has planned for her? But uh, it's all it's all good. She's a good person. All right, Kimmy. So you ready? You ready to talk to your guest, Reverend Anthony Brewer? You I ready? sure am. All yes. Right. Let's, let's, let's let him in. Let's let him in. What's up, Reverend? How you doing? Welcome to Late Night with Jerry Woods Live Worldwide and Kimmy Kim. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well, sir. How about yourself? Hey, Kimmy Kim, how you doing? All is well. All is well. Amen. Amen. All is well. That's right. All <laughs> is well. That's right. We give God the glory today. That's right. Tonight. Yes, we do. Amen. Yes. Amen. Well, look, I'm just, I'm just just saying hello i'm just stopping through i'm engineering the show so if you need anything i'm right here amen okay amen. Amen. Well, thank right. you once again jerry for this opportunity You're to welcome. be a part of the pasta 21 thank you so much for that you welcome have a great show y'all i'm right here okay so right. i just want to thank you once again for this opportunity and my brother thank you for allowing me to fellowship with you on today 
But before we begin, tell us something about you, like the listeners. Who is Reverend Brewer? Well, he's um, he's a, a a a love of love of God, a love of people, um, a psalmist, um, praise and worship leader. Uh, very very passionate about um, uh, the word and music. Uh, I, I love um, giving and and hearing people's uh, testimony. Uh, I, I'm just a lover. Of, I'm a lover of music. I'm a, I, I, I'm a writer. I'm a, a, a singer. I, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm just me. I'm just what God made me, and God chose to uh, gift me with the uh, ability to sing and ability to write. Um, I'm just an, an, an average worker guy. I, I, I wear a hard hat and a. <laughs> A uh, safety vest every day to work. Uh, um, middle class, uh, bloody knuckles type guy who loves music and loves God and loves to sing about, you know, his his his, his awesomeness and, and everything that he does. And he and I'm just glad that God's in my life and and he showed me uh, he showed me uh, mercy and he shows me grace and he also opens opens doors like opening this opportunity to to uh, fellowship and, and share my testimony. I, I, I just love it. I just love where you have me. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Keep on. I, I'm, lo- I'm just saying I agree. This is amazing when you have a gift from God and it allows you to utilize it and share it to the world. That's awesome. So do you do most of your music? Do you write them? Or do you have people write them for you and if you do write your music I, you I write uh, based on okay oh no I, I'm sorry I interrupt you I, I, I in this situation as, as in most um, I I meet up with people some some by happenstance some by you know past relationships uh, and they find out that I sing I, and I find out that they produce and I'm like hey uh we should get together <laughs> and uh, let me hear what you got track wise. And, uh, and, and this track uh, came across my table, my good friend, uh, Victor Hill, uh, with team elevation. Uh, we uh, worshiped that we worshiped at the same church and we, we were really passed, um, uh, passed each other or spoke to each other until uh, maybe about, uh, maybe six or seven months ago, where I actually commented on some music that he did and said, "Hey, <laughs> I write." He's like, "Really?" <laughs> we and so we should get together, and and we did. And he played some tracks for me. And when I heard this one, I was like, "Okay, okay, God, I get That's it." Me. Okay, okay. That's beautiful. It was, I mean, to have the opportunity to to collab to do um, projects with other people who share the same love for God and music. That's a blessing. Yeah. Wow. So how have you been thinking? Oh, uh, since about maybe six. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, and that's funny because, and, and she doesn't like for me to tell us, but my sister got me into, like, singing and had me actually singing uh, soprano in the church choir, which I didn't know that I couldn't do, so she made me do it anyway. Uh, but that was a beginning. Sunbeam Choir, uh, First Baptist Church of Lakeland in Michigan City, Indiana. That's where that's where it all began for me, and I've been singing ever since. And God has allowed me to use my voice in uh, school plays and um, uh other productions and with uh, had the chance to sing in front of an orchestra. Uh, it's it's he has just been leading and guiding and giving me experience after experience. You know, ever since ever since I was young, ever since I was a kid. But my uh, I was always uh, I was always moved to sing about God and 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 all the things that He's done and. 
I was uh, steeped in hymnals and and dirges and 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 uh, all the all the uh, uh, all the Baptists and Pentecostal songs mm-hmm. songs of old. I, I was I was a very old young man, <laughs> so oh, it, wow. it, it, yeah. I, I there's no there's no song or or or. Or, or genre of Christian music that I have not been exposed to, um, which was which added to my ministry because I was not only to minister in my home church, but wherever I visited, no matter what the background of the church, I, I was able to effectively uh, minister uh, because of my early exposure uh, to singing. So it, it it's been a blessing. Yeah, that's beautiful. It sounds like singing is your passion. I can hear that excitement in your voice while talking about, you know, your career. So how does it feel to knowing that you love what you're doing and you're um, really making a difference in spreading the gospel of Jesus the Christ? How does that feel? Um, humbling. Um, it, it, and exciting and fulfilling that I get an opportunity to to sing about God and don't have to make up anything because where I sing from my it's it's my experience it's my experience with God it's 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 our talks it's our uh, it, it's it's him giving me a, a a small smidgen or a glimpse of uh, true unadulterated love, his 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 undying love, and I can talk about that freely because it's not just lyrics for me; it's it's my experience and having the chance to express that. And then having people to react to it the way that they have been, it's it's been amazing. It's been amazing the testimonies that I've gotten from uh, people that I work with up to people who I've seen on television. Uh, it's uh, where where God has put me is uh, I, I it, it's nothing but Him, and that's the way I like. When when I look at it and I say no, it's none of you, sir. It is it is it is God moving, and you just have to stay obedient and keep your eyes and your ears and your heart open. And that's what I've been striving to do. Amen. So, that's beautiful. Wonderful. I love your story because you show so much passion and so much transparency because. You know, you're sharing how God has um, allowed you to go through some ups and downs and allow you to, um, you know, use your passion. He gave you the gift of music and you're spreading the good news gospel. So what type of style of music do you emulate after? And also, who are some of your favorite artists? It doesn't always have to be gospel music because I, I like all types of music. Oh my God! Um, and my 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 children, they 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 say, Dad, you are you are you are very very you've been old for a very long time, because mm-hmm. I find myself listening like on Sirius XM, which is my favorite. It, I, I I find myself listening to, and don't laugh, but it's it's called Yacht Radio, and okay. they play. They play like the all the top forties from the eighties. Um, I'm not the wrong person. I, 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 I know eighties and nineties music. You know that's the good I, music back then. I know it's nothing wrong with it, but they are like, "Dad, you are ancient." I'm like, "You don't understand." <laughs> I know, this right? Is, <laughs> this is that's music music. was good though. Yeah, and, and I'm a fan. I'm a fan of of the story. I'm a fan of lyrics. I'm a, I'm a fan of the emotions that they invoke, and that's why it's so important when writing 
to be, you have to be a wordsmith. You have to be able to mm-hmm. uh, link words up almost like, like poetry, but you, but I believe that songs should tell tell a story. They should tell a, tell a story, and what better story to tell than your own and your relationship with God? What better story? Because you don't have to, you don't have to search for um, inspiration. You don't have to search for anything outside of your own story. Yeah. You don't have to look for that. It's already in you. Talk about yourself and be vulnerable because nine times out of ten, uh, what you're talking about is something that someone else is has experienced or is experiencing. Um, that's why it's it's key to be to be vulnerable. You know, it, to be so what comes from your heart reaches the heart. So if you're just out here slinging words together, yeah, it it it'll it'll never go past the surface for people. And I want what I do to 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 go deeper, to seep deeper to the inside, to where their their spirit lives, to where 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 God resides, so that can mm-hmm. come out, and so that people can start living their truth in God. And not be ashamed of it. The only way to do that is to not give your testimony. And testimonies are meant to be shared because I still believe that when you um, demonstrate what God has done for you, it can be contagious, and and then people will want the same, you know, the same um, the flight, the favor. You know, there's nothing like favor. And um, one thing I love about the Lord. He uses those who love him. He really does. And uh, I can tell that you love him with all of your heart, soul, and might. That's beautiful. So oh, yeah. what type of... I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was saying, so outside of music, what are some of your hobbies that you love doing? Oh, wow. I love to... I, I, I have an affinity for bowling. Um, that oh. is, that, that is my thing. That is, oh my gosh. And when I say it's my thing, I mean, I have probably 10 bowling balls, uh, two pair of shoes, <laughs> my, and, and I kind of got my son addicted to it. He has about four balls of his own. My wife has two. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love the bowl. I love to... Uh, I love anything. Have you done a 300? Oh, my God, no. I haven't done a 300. Oh, you get there. You get there. You get there. You get there. I hit hit a 296 once. Go with your bad self. You're getting there. Go with your bad self. I know. I know. But ain't been close since. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what was happening that night, but it ain't happened since. So... (laughs) Yeah, that's that's my and I I like billiards. Um, um, because I, I have my own pool cue. I you know what I love, what I love I have my own of. I I, I love music, so I have I can't play it, but I I have my own keyboard, guitar, bass, and all that stuff. I just I was my plan was to have my family be musical like that but uh their plans were a little different so uh. (laughs) i understand and you're like man this has been a great trio i know i know they they Um, do do the opposite that we want them to do no no but they're okay i love them anyway Uh, that's beautiful passions outside of music and um i believe it's helped you know you know have a have a release like that so everybody should get one Exactly. And I really believe in self-care as well as well balance because sometimes you can get burnt out on the things that God has called you to do and it no longer becomes fun anymore because I want to do something for the Lord that's fun and I'm passionate about. And so I thank you for sharing that information. So do you have any new projects coming out for us to uh, know about? 
Um, none that I can talk about. Um, I just finished another album. Uh, just finished writing. Um, I just finished writing the lyrics to another album, and it'll be coming out soon. Hopefully, at a later, uh, maybe later in the year. Um, but I do have okay. another project to come out, uh, but just not yet. Not yet. Okay, awesome. I'm looking forward to it. So you have to, you know, let us know so that we can support you because it takes, you know, a lot of work to put in a project. And uh, I really um, love when people work for the Lord because the work for the Lord never ends and is purposely driven. I believe in being purposely driven. So yep. also, what are some of the things that you like to write about? Do you write about, you know, your, what you have gone through? Do you write about things that, that's going on in the world? What are some of your songs that you tend to write about? Um, my songs are um, mainly from a personal point of view, uh, but okay. I, I, I have... I have some lyrics in the works waiting on tracks that deal with things that are happening um, happening in the world, current events, and how, uh, how God is still moving and how sometimes it's, it's hard to see, it's hard to see his hand moving because we're, we're blinded by this overkill of of information we're in the information age where you no longer have to turn on the tv to get news you can get news uh 24 7 365 and the bad part is is that the bulk of it is bad news so it it becomes life becomes disheartening and sometimes the walk can be very difficult because of the information that you're being fed. And sometimes we, we question a lot of things and we, 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 we sometimes forget that God is still moving because we're paying attention to everything else. So sometimes we need reminders like, look, this is happening, but what, talk to your faith. Talk to your talk to your faith. Get by yourself for a moment. Turn off the TV. Turn off the phone. And my my songs lean towards being you know aware of the God that's inside of you. You know that no one can touch. That no one can no one no one can change. No one can take away from you the 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 God that's in you. No matter what the what the world might say, you know, you are, you are awesome and you're an awesome creation. And I try to write songs to remind people that, you know, of, of who they are, because I think that's lacking uh, right now. So that's my goal. Mm, I love that. Wow. You have an amazing story. You're a family man. You love the Lord. Um, you love what you do. You're passionate about it. So I yeah. just love the fact that you're so authentic and you're very transparent. And with that being said, what kind of um, um, nugget can you give to young people who are inspiring to become like a artist in the gospel world? What kind of advice would you give them? To to be true to you and to your experiences uh, first and foremost. Hey, Kim, are you still there? All right. Reverend, we're going to go ahead and play your song. I think uh, Kimmy's, Kimmy's uh, connection drop, okay? Here we go.
my apology, call our listeners out. We we lost our guest, but I think he's back now. And that was not his song, just to make sure <laughs> that you guys know that. But anyway, Kimmy is here. To, our guest had dropped. Reverend, you back? How are you Hi. back? I'm here. Okay, we had lost you for a Yay. second. All right, here we go. All right. Sorry <laughs> about that. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take the music break and um, listen to your song, Grace. Would that be good? I would love it. Thank you all for, for playing my no, song. You're welcome. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. Now that is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. To God be the glory. Did, uh, did you yeah. write that? Yeah, I, I did. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, my God. The track. <laughs> Oh, I, I thank you. I'm 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 humble. Uh, every time I hear it, it just reminds me of where I was when I wrote it about talking talking about his 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 awesome his grace and his his love for me is just beyond what I can measure, and his patience uh, with me uh, going through. From, from trial to trial and going, as they say, from glory to glory, from um, peaks and peaks and valleys, his, his, his unchanging hand as an old hymnal holds to God's unchanging hand, and it doesn't, it doesn't change. We change. Our grip uh, changes, but he, he faileth not. He, it, 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 he remains the same. And that's Absolutely. where I was. When I, so, so yeah. Thank you all again. It has, for, for, it has a lot of meat in it. I mean, the testimony, the passion that you display on how good he is to you, and now you're sharing it with us. That's a beautiful song. Wow. <laughs> thank, Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, thank you. Thank you. Uh, just, I, and Hallelujah. When we were recording that, it took um, it, it it took a lot for me not to break out. <laughs> it, it did because <laughs> it, it doesn't take me long, and I don't have to go back far uh, to uh, to remember. Uh, what what he did for me a whole that's a whole lot of times to where um I'm so glad he knew me better than I knew me absolutely uh, so and I, I I love him and it's hard not to get you know a little water in the eye you know when I talk absolutely. about it because my, my memory is very very good <laughs> so absolutely. yeah yeah. Amen. So it, it doesn't. Wow, we're so, gonna yeah. have to play that at the at the um, end of the show as well. So, um, where can people reach out to get your music and things like that? How can I reach out to you? Um, I'm, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of old, so uh, you can always find you can find this song on all uh, streaming outlets. Um, finding me is not hard. I'm all over Facebook. Uh, I have on uh, Instagram, Anthony Brewer 42 Real simple. Um, I'm going to be posting more there, um, more content, more, more, more testimonies, and I'm hoping that people will will listen to the song and lend their own testimonies to it, because that's mm. one of the main reasons why I made it. So it will uh, it will it will prick the heart. Uh, of, of someone who might be going through a struggle and who might be willing to share uh, their testimony. I, I made this so it can be maybe a release for someone, you know, who who may not know how to say or may be afraid to say or may be ashamed to say. And I'm saying to you that your words and your testimony uh, might be the motivation for someone else to change. Absolutely. So don't be afraid. Of it. Don't be ashamed of it. It's your story. It's beautiful. It you is. It. And I love that you just hit the full eye because it's your story, and don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I love that. Um, you know, when God gives us our wings and He calls us home, what kind of legacy would you like to leave behind? What kind of legacy that I, what would I want people to know or to say about me after I'm gone that um, that I was I was I was honest and that I was 
sometimes to the sometimes to a fault um <laughs> to be that he that Anthony was transparent that he was who he was who you met was who he was there was nothing fake or phony about him uh he's a, a working class guy um uh broken fingernails and busted knuckles but loved God and loved him enough to, and loved him enough to talk about him um he wasn't just uh, he wasn't just a pulpit guy. He was he was he was a gen he was a, Anthony was a genuine cat. If somebody could say that about me, then 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 I'll be good. Then then I've done what I was supposed to do. And he loved God. That's beautiful. Um, yeah. I can see that for myself that you are definitely a genuine person who loves God based off that song and based off the fellowshipping that we have been having. Um, you are an amazing person. I love the fact that you acknowledge God, your family, your passion. That's beautiful. That means that you're very yeah. secure in the Lord. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I have to be, there's no, there's no, there's no bragging or, 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 or boasting with me because everything good that happened, everything that happened, period, was either for me to grow or to learn. There was never a loss. There was never a loss. There was never a loss. You're either growing, you're growing or you're learning. And I try to tell my children that. It's not win or lose. It's win or learn. And you have to look at life like that. You either, you're winning or you're learning. Because when you when you try to do something and it doesn't work, it's not a loss; it's an experience, and that's what the that's the culmination of our lives. Is you are you are made up of your experiences, whether they were good ones or whether they were bad ones. Your that's your makeup. And when God said, "I've come to give you life and life more that you might have life and more abundant." You have no control over the abundancy. What you do have control of is your faith in God. That's in your control. You can't control the things that life, that come your way, but you can't control how you react to them. And I choose to react to them from God's eye. There's, there's nothing okay. that you cannot... Um, so... Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> because <laughs> when you when you know who you are and whose you are, you are secure. And I just love the fact that you're just you and you have a lot of gifts. And I love the fact that you remain yeah. humble because you can sing. <laughs> you know, um you have this you kinda of sound like Warren Snap. I mean Warren um yeah. Um I mean, oh, Mar oh Marvin Sapp. Marvin Sapp. I'm thinking about the football player. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> I revive, revive. Did y'all catch that? <laughs> we got to see if one, you, we gotta see if one can sing. We got we to gotta find that. <laughs> yeah, but you, you have his voice. I'm serious. You, you sound just like him. Never would have oh. made it. I mean, you... Yeah, you have you have that that voice that it's very it's very easy to um um to the ears and you have this melody in the background and your lyrics were I mean so amazing so you have it definitely so what is your favorite book in the Bible? Oh, my favorite book is well, I have a cup my my most favorite book where I hang out the most is um the um psalms that's I, where I see that that's where I live and breathe because even though the 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 contributors to the psalms uh were were different um, my main focus was uh was David because he was you know people say he had a heart for God, but there were some things that that David did that were not pleasing. 
Um, there were there were actions he took that were not of God, mm-hmm. uh, but he, he knew enough to say, you know what, God loves me, and Lord, I apologize. I know who you are. You 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 are the the, the earth is the Lord's and the fulfillness of thereof, and they that dwell therein. For he found upon the seas and established it on the floods. He's saying, I know who you are. You are the good shepherd. I know who you are. I sing praises unto you, Lord, because of who you are, not because of what you've done, because of who you you are. are. Hallelujah. Yeah. And because of that, what did God say? David is the apple of his eye because he was authentic. And he knows us. He knows what we're about to do. That's what's so amazing about God. He knows us better than we know ourselves. I mean, you can't fool God no matter what time of day, whether it's daylight or night time. You cannot hide from God. So you have to be your true, authentic person. So, yeah. And if if anybody... No, no, no. please, 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 be your authentic self. Because it is in that uh, where God can use you the most. Maybe not the most where people see it, but that's where you are most useful to him when you are your authentic self and you allow all this other stuff to pass by you, all the isms and the ids and and the masks and and the 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 phrases and if you allow all that stuff to pass by you and you just be you that's when you are the most effective and on everything mm-hmm. i love to affect people in a positive way so that they move with god mm-hmm. you know so it, that, that's what, that's that what, is wisdom right there. <laughs> I, I mean, you're just so, this is more of a fellowshipping because you're very easy to talk to and interview, but I look at this as fellowshipping because I'm really gleaning from you. And that song has helped me with what I'm going through. And I thank you for that song because, um, you know, it's challenging time right now. But because of that song, you're showing me that it's okay to be in a, you know, one of those, you know, challenging times. And that song, Grace, was very uplifting for me. And now just hearing you give encouraging words to those who are going through and those, you know, who love the Lord, it's a great thing. So continue on being encouraging because I think you're an encourager as well, as well as a good, um, you know, music artists and things oh. of that sort. It sounds like you're a preacher yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been known to open the Bible a couple of times. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, but I'm not I I don't know if you want to call it traditional, but I am so far from that because a lot of and I was discussing this with another person yesterday about how and we hold on to some traditions uh, that we need to let go of because as uh, as we grow in ministry we have to understand that everybody is not the same and we have to be able to approach people where they are and that's where Jesus shined the most he was able to relate to people where they were wherever they were in life, he was able to talk to them. You know, you put him in front of, you put him in front of uh, Fisher, you put him in front of Fisher, he, hey, I can teach you how to fish men, fish for men. You put him in front of mathematicians, he can show you the, the multi, how I can multiply and divide. I can show you all this. Mm-hmm. I, I, wherever you put him, he was able to relate to people, talk to farmers about farming, you know, about reaping a harvest. He was he was able to do that because he was in tune with wherever he was, and in order to do that, Absolutely. it's you have to put self to the side and be able Absolutely. to listen to people, so you can effectively minister. 
That is so true. So, and you have been an amazing uh, person to talk with. And I just want to thank oh, you for this opportunity uh, for, you know, for this opportunity because I really needed this push. And I, I thank you so much for your patience. Um, before we go, I would like to know um, how do um, how do like someone young come to the Lord? Because some people think you have to come a certain way, and you have to get yourself together. But that's the enemy that tells you that. So, how would you? What kind of um, what kind of advice would you give to someone who is young? They really looking for something, but I know the only person that can really fix them would be the Lord. That's an awesome question, um, and I'm so glad you asked that because a lot of a lot of our younger a lot of our younger people don't know how, um, mm-hmm. and it's really, it's really it's really very simple. Um, there acknowledge who you are um acknowledge your pain or acknowledge acknowledge what what you might be suffering um and ask ask God for wisdom and guidance you can do that before you ask before you ask for deliverance ask God for wisdom uh, get with uh, uh get with a uh, uh the pop, you have positive people somewhere in your life you need to you need to you need to get by their side you need to you need to sow yourself to them get around positive people um recognize uh, recognize the negativity in your life recognize those things that are that are draining you if you find yourself around people and you're always tired or you're always drained uh, that means that those people are are literally sucking the life out of you. You need to get away from all of that, no matter what it is. And it's a hard thing to do because sometimes those are the people that we love. But mm-hmm. learn to love, learn to love yourself. Learn to love you. Love yourself. No matter where you are, stop and look in the mirror and say, I love you. And you keep yes. saying that until it becomes a mantra till it becomes a mantra. You get up in the morning and the first thing you do is you look in the mirror and say, I love you. And ask God from your heart, what would you have me do today? Mm, That's beautiful. And and concentrate on that, young folks. Um, Leave all the stuff you think you should be behind. Because the only way you're going to find you is to find God. Mm, that's where you are. That's beautiful. Wow. That is so beautiful. The only way to find you is through God. I like that. <laughs> I really like yeah. that. That is so true. Yeah, that, that's it. And adults too. Um, but everybody. And the, the only way you're going to know who you are is to know who created you. That's it. That's where your Amen. journey starts. Amen. Well, with that being said, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. And before we go, I would like for you to pray us out. But let me see if Jerry, Jerry, do you have any more questions for my brother? He is so amazing. I love yeah, his powerful music. Yeah, guy. Love the music. Yeah, I just, I just have one, one question for Reverend. Uh, Reverend, I, I know you've been perform with, performing with some of the greats. And I wanted to know, have you had an opportunity to perform your song in front of Destiny World Church? No, I have not. I have not. Um, but I'm I'm looking I'm looking forward to it. Um, uh, Will the Purvis is a very good friend of mine, um, and uh, I, I, I I I I I love him. It's my brother, and I'm hoping to get a chance to actually perform this this song there. Amen. Uh, I'm really not pressing. You know, I'm 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 trying to let God pave the road. 
Gotcha. Wherever, wherever, wherever that road leads to, I'm trying to let uh, God pave that because He's so good at it. Amen. So, yeah, I would, I would love the opportunity to perform in front of DWC, perform this song. Um, I have a lot of family and friends there, and they they knew uh, they they know me from a white way back. Uh, so I would love to do it there, but I'm I'm leaving it I'm leaving it all in in God's hands and just being obedient to wherever He takes me. Amen. Yeah, it's a beautiful song, yeah. man. It would be nice if um, you can get us get the support and get it out there, man. It's, you know, that'd be great. Well, I thank y'all because I don't. Nobody has to be nice to you. They don't. Nobody has to be uh, open. Nobody has to be open. To, to to you. Nobody has to open that platform. And I appreciate you, Jerry, and I appreciate you, Kimmy, for taking the time out to listen to this old boy uh, <laughs> and get and give him a shot. Amen. No problem. Man. <laughs> Glad to have you on the show. You're a delight. And we're very grateful. Amen. I loved it. All right. All right. Well, 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 would you give us the honors and, and pray us out, and then we end the show with your with your song? Sure, sure. Father God, we we thank you for this moment that we're in right now. Now we thank you for the things that sometimes we take for granted the the air in our lungs, the the blood that flows through our body, the activity of our limbs. The, that our insides working like they're supposed to, God. We thank you for those those small things that sometimes we overlook. Uh, we, we call ourselves being so busy with the life that you gave us that we forget to thank you for it. So we do that right now. We thank you for uh, Jerry Royce right now. We thank you for uh, Kimmy right now. And we're asking, I'm asking, that you would prosper both of them beyond what they could ever dream or think of. And that for everyone listening, God, that you would be a strong presence, that you would be a reminder of who they are and who they belong to. They belong to you, God, and you are here to protect. You are here to bless. You are here to heal. You are here to anoint. You are here to guide if we would turn and look to you, we would find everything that we need. We thank you for your grace and your mercy that covers us even when we think we're right. You still look out for us and you still continue to love us and your unchanging hand is still reaching out and still taking hold and still holding us through our our personal trials and tribulations, God. We know that you're a deliverer, but sometimes we get so blinded by what the world says. But we know that you are the ultimate God. You are the good father, and everything that was ever made, you made it. And we are in kinship with you because you created us. You are the good father. You are the good shepherd, and we love you for everything that you do, for every experience that we have. We have a hallelujah at the end of it because we know who you are. And we love you for it. So, God, we do ask for the forgiveness of sins. And we ask that you would help us to renew the right relationship with you and continue to lead and continue to guide. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. All right, Kimmy. Amen. You ready? You ready to... I'm right. ready to, for the song again. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm going through. This was a great push. Thank you for pushing me, Jerry. Yeah. I needed this. Sure was. I knew, I knew you would love it. I said, I'm not going to let her get out of this. Anyway, Rev, we thank you so much. We thank your audience, people that tuned in on, from your camp. We appreciate them. Thank you, Paula G. And Kimmy Kim. And thank everybody for tuning in. Late Night with Jerry was live worldwide and Positive Power with WXI Christian Media. Have a good night, everybody, and stay tuned. You're listening to Jerry's Live Worldwide Podcast. Listen, I know I'm probably the last person you expected to see here at your testimony service. I haven't been here in a while, but I need to talk to you about how God 
I saved me in the Bible's grace. Come on. Worldwide Podcast. 
Sanchez. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. It's Raggy time, little buddy. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Late Night with Jervis Live Worldwide with Kimmy Kim and Positive Power with the Side Christian Media. Don't forget to tune in every Monday and every Thursday, starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here. That's right. Going out to our Facebook page, Jervis Live, and find all of our content, including television, cable, streaming platforms, you name it, children, public shows, spiritual shows, you name it, right here on Positive Power with the have a good night, y'all. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live, Worldwide Podcast.